So this past weekend, I saw Wakanda Forever. Disclaimer, I'm going to be giving spoilers. So if you haven't seen this movie, don't watch this step up. Don't be the idiot. Oh man, I haven't seen the movie yet. He spoiled the movie, man. I ain't know it's gonna be a review, man. It only says review in the title. Don't be the idiot. Now, I'm going to be giving spoilers now. Are you ready? Are you still watching? If you're watching, I'm going to spoil it, though. Okay, here we go. Tell me why within the first 10 minutes of the movie, I'm tearing up. That really had me emotional, y'all. Like, bro, I was really in this movie theater for real thugs here just came on down. I was like, what are you doing? Don't. No, and then when they showed the, the entire Marvel signature, and it was all Chadwick, I was like, oh. I'm going to get through this review, okay? Because I am a thug and a gangster and a Wakandan. Okay, well, actually, I'm, 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 I'm half Nigerian, though, but you, you, you know what I'm saying. Before I get into the movie, that soundtrack, bam. I love how accurate the world reacted to King T'Challa being gone and them realizing Vibram existed because they reacted the way you know the world react. We want it. And boy, did our Quinn, our Quinn, put them boys in place, caught them, set them up, and delivered them boys right to that courthouse. Everybody looking stupid. Wakanda forever. It was only right that Shuri take over the mantle. So first of all, I'm... I'm not going to cry. Now, I know his name, though, but I'm going to call him Agent Colonizer because I know some of y'all don't even know the white dude's name, but I'm going to call him Agent Colonizer. So Agent Colonizer is still out here looking out for the Wakandans, you know what I'm saying, because he's always invited to the cookout, you know what I'm saying? And then pull up, another lady pull up, come to find out that's his ex-wife. What? Is that the lady from Seinfeld? All the character development is beautiful. Okoye, Mbaku, everybody is on point. Name more. Latinos in the building. Namor was a good adversary to have in this movie. The way Namor out here killing folks was wild. Did you, that, who, he had folks just jumping off the thing. I like, this boy is scary. What really scared me was when that one lady was trying to get away and she was in a helicopter and that boy brought the helicopter back. See, that's when I had to boo boo on myself because that's when you know it's over. I didn't like the Wakanda taking blame, but we'll get to that later. Is that Riri Williams? That's Riri Williams? That's going to be Ironheart. See, ooh, y'all see how they put the, ooh. Oh, Marvel. When Shuri, Okoye, and Riri get attacked by Namor and the Aqua people, boy, that was a scene, man. Them boy, listen, let me tell you something, man. Them girls was kicking, some kid right there. They was kicking Astros. You feel me? I love the new tech. I love the action sequence. I love how they are making Shuri the fighting action star. We all know she is. I love it. And that scene with Okoye and the Queen after they took Shuri and Riri, oh, my heart. I was crying again. She was like, my queen, please, please. I was like, oh, God, don't do it. Please give us a second chance, Queen, please. But you not finna outact our Queen. You not finna outact the most powerful woman in the world. You not finna outact Angela Bassett. I mean, uh, uh, our Queen. I'm sorry about that. I mean to break character like that, though. Our Queen. When she said, I have love. Whoo. Angela Bassett. She, whoo. Nakia. Got our girl back. First of all, Nakia the Cole's out here. Listen, no, listen, what? Okay, Nakia, N listen, Nakia, Nakia! Lupita, girl, we love you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, break it like that. I'm sorry about that. Nakia. And now later, I mean, Namor and them attack Wakanda. When Namor attack Wakanda, I couldn't believe my eyes. I ain't like this part too much, though. You know what I'm saying? I understand this part of the movie, though, but listen, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, look, man, look, look. No, Wakanda always stays strong. Fix the writing right here, but I understand why I did it, though. I ain't hating on it, though, but I was just like, I ain't like, it, it hurt my heart seeing Wakanda fall down like that. I know they did not kill the queen. You When Shuri stopped saying mother and started screaming mama, mama, listen, oh, listen, I know every fiddle, oh, oh. Shuri takes the plant she got from Namor along with her intelligence and recreates the plant and goes to the astral plane. And who does she see? Who does she see? Creed, I mean, uh, Killmonger. And the way they play on the nobility hatred, the conflict that Shuri has inside of her, because we've seen throughout the whole movie, because she actually is pretty angry about losing her brother like that. Ooh, 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 Marvel. M'Baku is back from the mountains with good advice and wisdom. M'Baku bringing the wise advice of possibly starting an eternal war and to figure out a better solution. This is an evolved M'Baku from when we saw from the first movie, man. This dude, man, man, boy. Mbaku. Everybody tag Winston Duke. Winston Duke, I need to send you a mountains t-shirt, man. Listen, it's a long story, but I listen, listen, I need to send you a shirt. You come to a live show. Anyway. Shuri becomes Black Panther. Wakanda's fight. Wakanda's win. 
Shuri finds the inner nobility herself. She sees her mother. Her mother, her mother says, show them who you are. Marvel, stop doing this. And there she stands side by side with a person that killed her mom out of the love of the country of Wakanda, out of nobility. She is doing this for the love of her people. That, ooh! Namor said that the world is going to turn on Wakanda and they're going to want to come to them for an alliance and that's when they're going to like take over the world and all that. So I'm assuming that's going to happen in some future movies though. So I'm look, I see that storyline right there, right? I see that. I also saw old boy, uh, Agent Carnage's wife turn on him, you know what I'm saying, arrest him. But thankfully they rescued him by the way though. We're going to see where that goes as well. The movie concludes with Riri Williams going back home. Hopefully to set up her Ironheart movie. I can't wait to see that one. Shout out to Man, listen, look, woo, Marvel with the, oh, yes. M'Baku looks like he's going to be taking over Wakanda. I'm with that. And Shuri is going to enjoy a life in Haiti with Nakia. And guess when Nakia... And this is the part, man, when I tell y'all, this, this, man, all, the, all, all of the tears came. All of the tears came. When Nakia introduced Shuri to her son, Shuri's nephew said, this is my son. Meet your aunt. And when she said, what is your name? When, it's, when she said it in Wakanda, when he said, my name is Prince T'Challa, son of King T'Challa. I... Wakanda Forever is a masterpiece. One of the best movies Marvel has done. 10 out of 10. Y'all go see it. But what did you think of Wakanda Forever? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to like, comment, and share this video. My name is Shinodu. Wakanda Forever.